Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from limit and we will definitely learn something new. So the problem in front of us is limit x tending to pi sin x divided by pi minus x. So the concept behind this problem is well limit uh, when in limit the variable tends to a non-zero quantity. In most of the question which we have solved earlier, the variable which is generally x tends to 0. But as you can see in this problem, the variable x is tending to a non-zero quantity which is pi in this case. So how to solve problem uh, when the variable is tending to a non-zero quantity? So there is a technique uh, to solve this type of problem. So generally, uh, here you, as you can see, pi minus x is there, fine. So what you will do that you will take this pi minus x to be equal to any other variable, let's say h. I have taken it to be equal to h, you can take it to be equal to t, whatever you want, okay, any other variable, okay, now. Uh, I will uh, find x in terms of uh, h. So what I can do for that, uh, your pi minus h is x. Fine. Now come back to this uh, initial condition. So we'll say as x tending to pi. So when x will tend to pi, look at this, when x will tend to pi, your h will tend to 0, fine. When x will tend to pi, your h will tend to 0 because pi minus pi is 0, fine. So now we have moved from x to h, so we can write limit h tending to 0. And now everything will be in terms of h. So sine, what is your x? Your x can be found from here pi minus h divided by uh, in denominator we have pi minus x which we have taken to be equal to h. Now we know sin pi minus h. So that will be in second quadrant. Here all trigonometric ratios are positive. Here sin x and cosec x is positive. So pi minus h will lie in the second quadrant where sin is positive. So we can write this as limit h tending to 0 sin pi minus h can be written as sin h only. In denominator we have h. Fine. So sin h by h as h is tending to 0 will give you 1. Because we know that limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is 1. So in place of x, you have another variable h. So the value of limit will not change. That will be equal to 1 only. So today we learned a new thing that when variable tends to a non-zero quantity, then we'll substitute uh, something will come which will substitute as other variable and will uh, find uh, our limit in terms of h. Okay. Fine. So that's it. That's how we solve this type of problem. Uh, you can find more problems in my playlist. Till then, keep solving limit. Thanks and have a nice day.